Welcome. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to solve this uh, by using converting to our slope intercept form. So there is a couple ways we could do this. Obviously, you know, we could, could solve this by using our x and y intercepts. But I want to show you the solving and putting in slope intercept form because a lot of students that make sense to them. But the problem is we got to get this format to this format. So remember, we're trying to isolate our y values. So the first thing I need to do is I need to undo addition and subtraction. And we see that my um, y is being is being added by 3y, so I need to, or 3x, so I need to subtract a 3x to the other side. So therefore, I have 3y equals, I'm going to rearrange these so it's in that format, of negative 3x plus 18. Then I need to divide by 3 on both sides. And remember, this 3 divides into both of these. So therefore, I have y equals a negative x plus 9. Or, sorry, plus 6, right? OK, very cool. Now all I need to do is graph this. So I go to my x and y coordinate, or axes. And I see that here, in this example, 6 is going to be my y-intercept. And my slope, we can write as a fraction of negative 1 over 1. You could also write as 1 over negative 1. We already went over all that. But you can see my slope as a negative 1. And we'll write as a fraction of negative 1 over 1. So first thing I need to do is go up to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make a nice big dot. And then my next, follow my slope, my change in y is negative 1. And change in x is positive x. Negative 1, positive 1. Negative 1, positive 1. So I can keep on just following this pattern, but you really only need to do it twice to be able to determine what the shape of the graph is going to look like. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve by converting into standard, or sorry, into slope intercept form. Thanks.